hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel and in today's video i'm going to show you the best shopify payment gateway for your shopify store so to for example you want to start a shopify store and you're looking for the best payment gateway you can add to your shopify store in order for you to be able to receive payment on your shopify website so if this is something you'd like to do i want you to stick around and watch this video to the end and if it's your first time visiting the channel please don't forget to like the video if you have any question about the video drop them in the comment section and most especially subscribe to the youtube channel so you can get more videos like this all right so without any further ado let's get started all right so as you can see whenever you have a shopify payment gateway added to your shopify store it makes your website look like this so this means um, whenever a customer visited your store they'll be able to check out with their card on your website and be able to make payment for whichever products they want to buy on your website so as you can see this is payment so this is where they can add their credit card details to make a purchase on your shopify store so if you don't have a shopify payment gateway you won't be able to have um, these features on your website that is customer won't be able to check out on your website so if there is something you like to do now there are a couple of ways you can go about this now the first thing you need to know is that you can add two different kinds of payment gateway to your shopify store if you are looking to receive local payment from your country now you should look for a local payment gateway that can charge your customer in your local currency and if you want to receive payment in your country then also want to receive international currency this means you should add a payment gateway that will be able to receive your local currency then also be able to receive payment from customer that are not in your country so this means you can receive international payments on your website on your shopify website and you can also receive local currency on your website in your country so the first thing you need to do is to decide um, the kind of shopify payment you want to add to your website so for you to achieve this now the first thing you want to do now is to go to your search engine then simply search for shopify payment gateway so when you search for shopify payment gateway you want to look for something like this all right so it says um, online payment gateway and payment provider integration so this is what we are looking for so what you want to do now is to click and open this so once you've opened this what you want to do now is you want to scroll down then come over here so here what you want to do is to enter the name of your country so when you enter the name of your country now the first payment gateway is going to be the most preferred payment gateway that you can use to receive local currency in your country so for example let's look for another country um, so let's say we want to look for south africa so this is south africa so the most preferred payment gateway that you can use to receive local currency in south africa is based on as you can see over here so let's check for another country take for example um, we want to check for ghana so looking at um the best shopify payment gateway in ghana for you to receive um, local currency um the best option is also pay stack here the best option is also pay stack here as you can see so let's check for philippine again so this is just to show you that this uh differs based on the country you are looking to charge in local currency so looking at philippines here so what they have here is different um general payment gateway so the best thing you can do in this case whenever you don't have a preferred payment gateway is to use the international payment gateway that can receive payment in all over the world so this means whichever country your customer is coming from they'll be able to purchase product on your website irrespective of the currency so for us to achieve this now what we have to do now is to go back to our shopify store so from your shopify dashboard what you want to do now is to come over here then click on settings so when you click on settings what you want to do is to come over to payments here then click on payments so when you click on payment you're going to see payment provider and you're also going to see supported payment method so what you want to choose is choose a provider under payment provider so this is payment provider so click on choose a provider so when you click on choose a provider you'll be able to choose different payment gateway provider so the one we're going to be using that will allow us to receive payment both locally and internationally is stripe so what you want to do now is come over here then type stripe so as you can see it says unavailable in your country so this is because stripe is not available in most country but that doesn't mean you cannot use it so what you want to do now is to click on stripe 
So for you to be able to use Stripe, there are a couple of things you need to do. So first, you need to register your business in the US. So once you have a registered business in the US, now you'll be able to use these business details to create your Stripe account. And once you've created your Stripe account, you'll be able to integrate it with your Shopify store. So in my own case, I'm going to click on Stripe that says unavailable in your country here. So here, what you want to do now is to connect your Stripe to your Shopify store. So here now you're going to enter the email address you used to create the Stripe account. So here I'm just going to uh, click on submit because my email address has been added already. So here I'm going to click on submit. Then after that, I'm going to enter my email address. So here I'm just going to use my um, authenticator app to log into my Stripe account. So here I'm just going to select this account, which is good cast to stuff. Then after that, I'm going to click on connect. Right. So as you can see, I've just added Stripe to my Shopify store. So this means whenever customer visited my website they'll be able to make payments using international currency or even local currency on my shopify store so the next thing i'm going to show you now is how you can easily set up this stripe account and use it as a payment gateway for your shopify store so for you to set up stripe the first thing you need to do now is to incorporate your business in the us that means you have to register a business in the us which is also known as llc so you have to create an llc in the us then use this llc details to set up your stripe account and once your stripe account is set up you can now integrate it to your shopify store and start using it to receive international payment on your shopify website so to get started what you have to do now is to go to the description of the video i'm going to add a link to northwest registered agents now this is the agent that is going to help us create our business in the us or help us set up our llc in the us so i'm going to add their link to the description of this video so go there click the link and once you click on the link it's going to bring you up to a page like this so what you want to do now is to come over here then click on get started so once you click on get started it's going to ask you what type of business do you want to form in the us so select llc so once you select llc it's going to ask you where would you like to form your business that is which state in the us would you like to form your business so based on my research i've been able to find out that new mexico is one of the best states for you to form your llc in the us reason because um the fee of you registering your business in new mexico is going to cost you just 52 dollar and they charge you zero tax fee at the end of the year so what you want to do now is to come over here then look for new mexico so this is um this is new mexico as you can see here so select new mexico then after that what you want to do now is to come over here then click on continue now before you click on continue i just want you to know that they're also going to add the cost of um filing a beneficial ownership information for your business which is called boi report now this is very compulsory if you are setting up a business in the us you must file a boi report and northwest is also going to file that for you at 25 dollars so once you have twenty-five dollar to them the fifty-two dollar, which is going to cost you to set up your business in New Mexico, you're going to have a total of one hundred and sixteen dollar. So after that, what you want to do is click on continue. Then here, this is where you enter your business name. This is uh, here you just have to choose either no or yes for sending a lawsuit and legal notice to your Antony. This is if you have an Antony. So usually just leave it at no so here this is where you're going to enter your business purposes um your physical address and one of the best thing using northwest is that you don't have to pay for business address in the us because you can easily use their own business address now to save you time of watching this video i already did a video on how you can easily set up your stripe account okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to add the link to this video at the description of the video so just go to the description of the video as well click the link there and watch the video the entire step on how you can create your stripe account by forming your llc first and once you form your llc the next thing you have to do is use your llc um, details to create your stripe account so once you've created your stripe account as well you will now be able to integrate this stripe account to your shopify store so i've done the video exactly on this already so what i'm going to suggest is just go to the description of the video click the link there watch the video and set it up for yourself all right so the link to northwest is also at the description of the video so like i said so this is basically how you can set up the perfect um shopify payment gateway for your shopify website so if you like the video please give it a thumbs up and if you are yet to subscribe to the youtube channel please subscribe so you can get more videos like this